Right, good day, good day, twelves, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about input masks. Now, first things first, what is an input mask? So, your textbook tells you that an input mask is a field property which can be set for a specific field in design view. It is also, and continues, a code made up of a combination of letters, digits, and symbols, and is used to enforce the entering of data in a specific format. Okay, so what are they actually saying? Well, let's go over to design view. And let's go and see what they want us to do. So first place I really find input mask is down over here. Okay, input mask and I can type whatever I want to there. How I know what to actually do? Well, in your textbook, they give you a little table that looks like this. And this is very important. Okay, we need to understand this before we go any further. So, here they mentioned to us, uh, the user must type in, if the user has to type in three compulsory letters, right? In other words, if they need to go, um, if you want the person to type in, let's say, C, C, A, you know, or things like that, any compulsory letters, then we are going to use a capital L. Okay, not just a normal, you know, lowercase l, we're going to use a capital L. That's to indicate that in that particular field, there must be three compulsory letters all in uppercase. If you want to put in, let's say, numbers, um, and you want it to be a compulsory number or compulsory digit, you can see down here, you have compulsory digits, that's going to be zero. So let's say you want to put in um, something like a license plate number, and then you'd go in here and you'd say, well, L, L, L for three letters in compulsory numbers, three numbers, and then two compulsory letters. Okay, so that means the person has to enter three capital letters, followed by three numbers, followed by two capital letters. Now you can see the big difference here, and we can we can pop in hyphens, you know, in between to provide spaces, etc. But the main thing uh, to understand here is that you have compulsory, you have optional items. So if you want the person to put in an optional letter, you're going to use a question mark. If you want them to put in an optional digit, it's going to be the number nine. So just know the difference between those. Um, and then you can go and put that into your input mask. So the input mask, very simply, as we wrap this up, is forcing the person to enter what you want them to enter in the way you want it to be entered. So this could be, you know, numbers first, then letters, then numbers again. Whichever way you're going to be doing it, um, this is where you would pop in exactly what you want the end result to be. Okay, and that is our input mask. 